Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So in this one, we are taking a look at the Moon Girl Hitmonkey deck. Uh, had a lot of success with this one the other day on stream. Uh, it's a really fun deck. I think one of the more powerful decks out there right now. I uh, was experimenting with a little bit of a different version. Wanted to try out the Collector because I started playing this deck just after he got buffed. So put him in the Carnage spot. Uh, one notable exclusion here was I was playing this deck without Quinjet. I do think Quinjet's probably going to be the right choice at the end of the day, and you probably want to put that in over, I'd say, either the Angela or the Collector, but the deck did fine enough for me without it. It does give you a pretty big boost, though, in terms of making your copied She-Hulk free if you do pass on turn 5. Even though it's not giving us free hood demons anymore, it's still very valuable. It makes our copied monkey cost one less as well. So that's a card that, while I didn't use it in my list this time, definitely one you might want to consider. If you find Enchantress as being a bit too clunky, that could be another consideration for hand space. But I found that she was actually really, really good as a counter tool, so I, I valued having her in there quite a bit. But really solid deck. Uh, the nice thing about it is we often are throwing priority going to the final turn and then throwing down like double She-Hulk, a monkey, double demons. Like we just throw out so much power on the final turn. And because we do not have priority, the opponent can't shang chi us to get it to go away. Uh, I think people also often underestimate how much power you're going to put out because if you're already winning one lane pretty easily with something like Sunspot or Angela or even the Collector, uh, you can just slam like I think almost 30 power, uh, sometimes even more than 30 power in one lane on the final turn. So something people do not see coming can definitely take them by surprise. Really solid and just fun deck to play. So. If you're looking for something to do with Hitmonkey, I think this is the direction you want to be going. But that is the deck. We're going to get right on to some games with it before we do. If you enjoy this type of content, remember to like and subscribe. It does a ton to help out the channel. It keeps the videos coming. But without further ado, let's get into the games. It was okay earlier. So we'll see. Nebula. Ooh, okay. That's good. We're trying out the collector, too. We put him in the carnage spot. Oh, that is a... That's an ebony maw. Wow, they stacked the shit out of this lane, huh? Kind of nuts. They can move stuff around with New York, dude. It's annoying. Oh no, it doesn't copy the free demon because of the... I played the hood first. So I guess I, I shouldn't have done that. We do have double monkey, though. No, fucking... Oh, wait. Oh, my God, dude. No way. No way. <laughs> I was just tempoing the Enchantress. I didn't even... <laughs> oh, dude, I'd be pissed. I'd be so fucking pissed if I were that Sandman. Holy shit. Oh, that's funny. So we'll move this. Play this. Play this. Play this. We didn't have like a Shang or anything. I think we're gonna need more power to the left. So we want to put as much as we can. Maybe I put both monkeys left. Oh, it's the same size, isn't it? Leader. Oh, is that enough? No, it's not. Let's go, man. That that uh that enchantress. 
saved us so hard. Like, they destroyed us in this lane. And if we could only play one card, like, it was fucking over. Kind of nice, though. Gotta say. Hey, what's up, Velvet Hippo? Been going pretty good. Ice man. Okay. So I'm gonna put this here. This here. Hold this for now. Pulse it. Probably Dino Darkhawk then. Oh yes, we got Beast. This is kind of what I was holding for. This is great. Cause we're gonna pump the Collector by three. We can get two demons and blow up the bridge. Rocks, sure. There's Dark Hawk. All systems go. Kind of funny thing here is that I end up having to play a card in the middle, right? Because if I don't, they could just win. I have to put a card here just in case. Mystique? Okay. Sentinel. Windjet. Big Prime. The Balo. Yeah, so we just beat tiebreakers, right? Look at that! Collector, I mean, we got two from the Stark Tower, but that Collector, that was a 2-7. Really pretty sick. That's kind of, that's Ebony Maw stats right there. Could be one reason, but when you're like pool 3 complete, you get them so quickly, it didn't really matter. Oh yeah, I guess that's true, I forgot about that interaction. You could play uh play Moon Girl in the bar, but yeah, it wouldn't matter because they moved two big things over. Grand Central. Ooh, that is a cool looking bishop. We get Ice Man. We're gonna try and set up a pass on five, I think. Some spot. I Angela. So they're maybe they're also playing the monkey deck. Different version of it. Could see that. See this. They replay Sunspot. Alright. Oh, that's good. Rips their monkey. Hulk. Stereo. 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 Iceman. So we win. We, we have the real Mysterio. Let's go. Yeah, that actually was uh, 
Very important that it pulled our collector. Very fun list. I, I, I like it a lot. Ooh. We need to float to into a, an awkward spot. Because if they decide they just want to give up on the left, they'll probably play middle to try and stop our Angela. Oh, well, I was going to She-Hulk, but now I think we Moon Girl. What do they do? Rocks? Sure. So we could have blown them up if we went with the She-Hulk, but this should just make it easier to win the final lane, right? Should be pretty hard. Oh, that's funny. I gotta split. Yeah, there we go. We gotta split my death again earlier tonight, but I still didn't get anything cool for it. Like, this deck does do, like, some pretty crazy powerful things. And all my fucking homies hate Adelon. Stupid fucking location. Feels bad, man. Bruh, again? Oh, well, it won't go off again, but it's still silly. The fuck? Big Sandman energy coming from the opponent. Yep. Autumn. <laughs> Agneto. Ump just win, right? Just win. Speed's Doom, right? We're adding... Oh, they play leader? Oh shit. Oh, we beat tiebreakers though, right? Yeah. Let's go. Victory. Feels good. That was kind of one of the uh, things I was thinking about trying, but I wasn't sure because for Nebula Surfer, you have to probably have to cut the Killmonger. Feels kind of bad cutting the Killmonger from Surfer, but maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Yeah, I saw some Cerebro earlier today. Goddamn. Really? Fucking Plunder Castle? Yikes. Alright, this is it being worse. Well, only if they have a, uh... It's actually not necessarily that bad. Oh, they are C2. They just got monstered. <laughs> oh, then yeah, let's fucking snap. C2, they can't get into Plunder Castle. I guess they could with, uh, actually Nightcrawler. But they can't buff it. Boom. 
Boom. Poor Goose. He tried his best. He tried his best. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm glad we have our sunspot. Yeah, some are lower fitting and some are not, it seems. I just need to get it out of my hand. Well, now I'm a little sad. I have to zap it. I'm excited for the, uh, the movie next month. I need to see the Guardians movie. Probably gonna... Maybe I'll try and see that this weekend. Ooh. How do you... How do you mean the original flavor of Zabu? Like what the card did? Oh, I see. So you could play Kazar and uh, Shauna on the same turn. I guess that's true. It's just a shame how broken he was. <laughs> Turns out... Making four cost cards cost two is really, really busted. Who knew? Who knew? Doom She-Hulk. Got him. That's exactly what I thought they might do, except I thought they were going to play the Doom over here, but it didn't matter. Yeah, now you got to wait for current fix for that combo. It's true. This is good, especially if we get a one drop. Oh my god. So this is really good. Yeah, this is just really good. Oh wait, why am I doing that? <laughs> Bar. I'm so used to wanting to give this away. I don't give a shit about putting rocks in my deck. But he'll have a use soon. Oh no. This is just the ramp deck guy, right? It's not Galactus. Oh, it's fine. If it is Galactus, I'm gonna be a very, very sad individual. Yeah, that's what I thought. Zabu Scorpion. I don't think that's gonna be enough, my friend. Now we're out of Shang-Chi range, too. Eight and eight. Monkey. The annoying thing is, like, they play Dark Hawk here. They could get a lot here, but they can only play one Hawk, so... I'm just gonna play a million cards, and we'll see what happens. So it's gonna be like Hawk. But how do they win? Hawk. Jang. Ooh, you played yourself there, bud. Somebody, uh, somebody didn't think about that scorpion now, did they? A rough one. No cards are revealed this time. Well, that's annoying. We'll play this next turn, maybe. So maybe we do something like this. This. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. My name Jeff. Guys, danger. 
alternative. Seems rather fine. We have a lot of cards to play here. And look at that, Collector again casually being a 2-6. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, Monkey is uh, it's coming in hot. Possible I shouldn't have put all of our chance at left on the demon. Oh, we just win. Oh, that is not it, bud. That is not it. Not even close to being it. Bro, he is freaking huge. Oh, and the demon blew up too. It's monkey time. 